What if a day in the game was only an hour in real life? This kind of idea where VR moves faster than in real life is a common one seen in fiction, with stories like Axel World, Infinite Dendrogram, Sword Art Online, and the legendary Moonlight Sculpture featuring it prominently. I'm sure many of us are no strangers to the wish to have more time in the day for fun or work, but could there be more to this idea than just wishful thinking? Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. To get this conversation going, let's run through a few bits of evidence that point to the possibility of time dilation or time control being possible. For starters, there are quite a bit of data points pointing to the idea that smaller life forms, like insects and small mammals, experience the flow of time faster than we do, making our own motions appear like slow motion to them. On the next point and the note of slow motion, the way the effect of slow motion is achieved in video is by gathering more frames per second than will be played back in a second. The fact we can experience information that occurred quickly, more slowly by presenting it differently, could lend itself to explaining our final point that dreams seem to last so much longer than the time that has passed in some cases. Could it be that our brains are cutting out and manipulating the information of the dreams all on their own, removing the pointless excess of redundancy of real life, and rapidly delivering information to our consciousness? Seeing as VR is all about controlling the flow of information to our consciousness, would it not stand to reason that the flow of time would thusly be in our control as well, with sufficiently advanced systems? Well, maybe not actually, there are some points against this idea too. For starters, humans are not smaller life forms. There aren't any guarantees that the human brain can biologically handle the increased speeds relative to the point of the age it's presently at. On top of that, the matter of slow motion as a basis for prolonged experiences is nebulous at best as it's not so much a greater variety of information being processed, so much as it is a greater clarity on the existing information. Too much information played quickly usually just ends with you not noticing much of anything, and with the matter of dreams feeling longer than they are, the evidence present is mainly anecdotal and based on user self-reporting, which may not be necessarily the best basis for an objective measurement. Relying on an altered state of consciousness for reliable information is about as reliable as asking a drunk for their dexterity. The very presence of optical illusions show that there's a very clear amount of processing that our brain does to create the image of reality that we experience through consciousness. When you consider as well that most people hardly remember their dreams, and the argument can be made that the information density being so low in our dreams during high speeds arguably makes the value of experiences there non-equivocal to waking conscious experience. Really, we could go on and on about this matter, but it's kind of at a stalemate without more data. If the principle for high speed time perception exists as evidenced by differing experiences of time at different ages and smaller creatures, then an argument can be levied that it's just a mechanism of reality awaiting potential exploitation via better technology. Though slow motion may not actually be changing time's passage as relativity makes it clear time flows at the same speed for the individual, though everything else's passage is relative, the principle of making time slow via a change in the passage of data is still another potentially exploitable mechanism. Even the unreliability of the brain's self-observation can be addressed with the acknowledgement that self-perception is all any of us know. It's basically what it means to be conscious. If your brain wants you to believe and think something, then that experience or that data is your world. It doesn't really matter what the rest of us think. And even if the reliability of the information we get from our dreams is nebulous, the amount of dream-inspired innovations that we've had in real life could still make this idea worth developing out. Our knowledge of the brain is still too immature for conclusions to be reached on this topic, one way or the other. An Inception or SAO Underworld style thousand times speed up could very well be possible, or unknown factors could get in the way, like having a limited flux like capacity in SAO, ending in user death if too much time passes. The only thing that can give us a bit of hope on answering this question is that research on imaging dreams is actually coming along. If a sophisticated enough method of recording dreams is developed, we may very well be able to verify, once and for all, 
whether or not humanity will be able to conquer the flow of our time in life, or if the changes have been in our heads all along. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe so YouTube Algorithm Sama knows that you want to come back here for more. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.